Fenty hair, Fenty hair, Fenty hair. Rihanna. Riri. Yes. Fenty. Fenty hair. Fenty hair. Fenty hair. Fenty hair. Fenty hair. Okay, we got to talk about some things, y'all. I have been using Fenty hair for the past three weeks. Normally, I don't get the chance to try products out for multiple weeks at a time because I have so many other obligations with other brands. So I normally don't get to do this. I said this time we're going to hold off on some things because I really wanted to give y'all a true authentic review of using Fenty hair for multiple weeks at a time. I was not paid by Fenty hair for my products. I paid for all of my products on my own with my own money so this is a truly real and authentic review if you haven't seen all four Fenty hair videos yet make sure you go to my Fenty hair playlist and you'll be able to see the whole lowdown on all of the products let's get into Fenty hair in my first video I did a wash and go I used the rich one moisture repair shampoo okay then I also used the richer one moisture repair deep conditioner and then lastly, we used the Jelly One Stronghold Gel, which, oh my gosh, <laughs> every time it's just like, they need to put this in a perfume, in a body lotion, because I would buy this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. As you see, I don't have much left because it was not intended for wash and goes. It was intended for slick bags and high ponies, all those things. But after looking at the consistency of the gel, I just knew that it would hold my curls very well. So I had to use it for a wash and go because why not? I still would like to see this in a bigger jar because I definitely would use this for a wash and go again. My wash and go lasted a week and it could have lasted longer if I didn't need to wash my hair. But my hair is stuck on a week cycle. Once I go past that week, my hair and scalp be screaming at me. So I had to wash my hair. But this... This by itself holds the curls so well. Like when you put it on, it feels very flexible. But once I fully dried, I sat under my hood dryer because it's always great if you're wanting your wash and go to last for a week to use a hood dryer, diffuser, or some type of heat that's going to help hold the curls. So I sat under my hood dryer, which helped create that gel cast. So my curls saved, babe. They were held stronghold gel me please okay because i want my wash and go to last a week now some weeks i'm going for like a voluminous fluffy wash and go and i might just use a mousse for that that's fine but for the sake of reviewing the product i wanted to show you guys how it really holds the hair the final review on the rich one moisture repair shampoo i really love this shampoo it lathers up very well you don't need a lot like i still have basically a full bottle super moisturizing i feel like to me it's kind of like a mix between a clarifying and a moisturizing because my hair felt super clean but it didn't feel stripped like my hair felt super moisturized after i don't know i don't know i love it and it smells good so this shampoo is really good I still would like to see a clarifying shampoo from Fenty Hair because I'm someone who needs a clarifying shampoo every few weeks to really help get rid of heavy buildup and just refresh my hair. So I'm hoping they put that on the list to have a clarifying shampoo because I'm here for it all. Love the shampoo. Let's get into the deep conditioner. I use this two weeks and here's what I have left after two weeks. As you see, we still have a lot left. And this is even after I spilled some in the shower. <laughs> still a lot left, which is very good for the price point. We want to make sure we get a lot of use out of it. And I do think this will last you for a good amount of time. Because you also don't need a deep conditioner every week unless you just colored your hair. I really loved the texture of this. I feel like it wasn't too heavy, but it wasn't too light. It's like the perfect medium conditioner. And it left me with so much moisture. Make sure when you use this product that you add enough water so that your brush can glide through because this product does have slip. I know some people commented that it didn't give them slip. Really love this product. Definitely would buy this again. Love it so much. And then like I mentioned before, on that wash day, we used the Jelly Type Stronghold Gel. Love this so much. This gel left me with no flakes. Okay, I had no flakes at all throughout the whole week, which I love that because I cannot stand when I do a wash and go and my hair starts to flake. No flakes at all. My hair felt moisturized. It held my curls all week. This is a 10 out of 10 gel. Like, I just need this in a bigger jar. That's it. So good. So good, so good, so good. So the second week I did a twist out, 
I ran back the Rich One Moisture Repair Shampoo, okay? It did its thing. The first week, I used this twice. The second week, I only had to use it once because I felt like my hair felt more moisturized that time. And then I used the Rich One Moisture Repair Conditioner. To me, these were very similar. Obviously, this is a deep conditioner. It's a little bit thicker. I do feel like they have very similar consistencies. Like, it's still like pretty thick to be a regular rinse out conditioner. So I do feel like you get a lot of moisture from just using this product without having to use a deep conditioner. And I love that for me because I don't use a deep conditioner every week. I colored my hair back in October, so I don't need to deep condition every week. But I think this has an amazing amount of moisture and it gives you an amazing amount of slip. I think both the deep conditioner and the conditioner could easily work for whatever you need. Both of them are great products. So we use the shampoo and conditioner and then to style, we'll use the Home Curl Curl Defining Cream. For my girlies who have type four hair, this is amazing for your twist outs and your braid outs, all the things. So I use this for a twist out and as you see, there's still basically the whole jar left. So these products are very concentrated, which I love because they cost a pretty penny. It's great to know that they can stretch you for a good amount of time. So I still basically have a whole jar of this. And this is pretty thick. It's not as thick as the deep conditioner, but it's like perfect. It's like a medium curl cream. So it's not too heavy. It's not gonna weigh your hair down and it's not too light. I feel like this gave me like fluffier results than my normal hair creams, which I was okay with because I love volume. I love fluffiness. So I feel like it gave me definition and volume. I don't feel like it held my hair for a full week. And I think that's partially because I had a few spots that were not fully dry. So make sure your hair is fully dry. I still don't know if it would have lasted a week if they were dry, but I do think it could last me at least three days. This was really good. I really love the consistency of this. Before I used that home curl on my twist out, I did use the Comeback Kid Instant Damage Repair Treatment. This is for the people who need a little extra oomph for their wash day routine, like their hair is damaged and they need an extra boost. You can use this, but I also read that you can use this as a leave-in. So I use it as a leave-in before I use the curl cream and my hair felt so soft. So I also don't know if that altered the effects of my twist out. I will try it another time with just the curl cream and see if that changes anything. But both of these products together left my hair super moisturized. Like, I was like, girl, moisture on 1000, okay? Love these two. Let's just show you the texture. Another creamy product, okay? Moving right along, the third video I did I showed you all how to do a slick back using Fenty hair. I used the Jelly Type Stronghold Gel and I also used the Controlling Type Hair Thickening Edge Control Gel because this is supposed to be for slick back. So I use these two together. So check out that video if you haven't already. I've already reviewed the Jelly Type, but let's get into the Controlling Type. So here's what it looks like. Here's the texture. I feel like this is not one of those super hard edge control gels where you feel like your, your edge is fried, dyed, and laid to the side, okay? I feel like it's very flexible. It also has an amazing amount of moisture. So I feel like it does have that hair thickening effect. I didn't feel like my edges were about to like fall off. Um, but it also provided a great amount of hold. Make sure you lay your scarf on it to make sure it can set like you would with any edge control. But I think it did a great job. Now going on to the edge brush. This was not my favorite. I don't know if I would buy this again. This tip is supposed to help you part, but I felt like when I was using this brush in to like lay my edges, this snags a lot on my hair. Actually, no, it's this comb part. It snagged my hair or to be this part that snags my hair. And I didn't enjoy that when I'm trying to lay my edges. So test it out for yourself, see how it works. But yeah, it's really cute. Really love the design of it. I've just tried different ones that have worked better for me. Going into the fourth video I did, I did a blowout, which is what you see now, but now it's been over a week and my hair is through and it's converting back <laughs> and it's ready to be washed. So ignore all of that. But besides that, 
I did do a wash day routine in that video. Because Fenty Hair does not have a clarifying shampoo, I used the Olaplex clarifying shampoo, which worked wonders. Then I followed up with the Moisture Repair shampoo, one of them ones, okay? Then we also use the deep conditioner because every time I blow out my hair, I like to do a deep conditioner to make sure my hair is nourished before applying some type of blow dryer or heat. Love it. And then we tried the Protective Type 5-in-1 Heat Protecting Styler for the first time. And I know a lot of people were saying they've never tried a heat protecting that was a cream instead of a spray. And I have used both. I used sprays in the past, but for the past maybe two years, I've been using the Olaplex Heat Protecting and it's a cream similar to this one. And so I'm used to that. So let me just show you the texture. Another cream, but it's a light cream. So you don't have to worry about your hair being weighed down. It's very light, very light cream. And I felt like after using this, because I only used the shampoo conditioner, I didn't use anything else but the heat protective styler. I felt like my hair was super moisturized after blowing it out. My hair felt smooth after blowing it out. Like I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Would definitely try this again. I love that it's a cream. I feel like that stretches on my hair better than using a spray. I be scared sometimes with sprays that I don't apply enough. So this did a great job. I would definitely use it again. Now, let me tell you my top three favorite Fenty hair products that I would definitely encourage you to buy if it's your first time trying the brand and you don't want to buy the full line. First things first, the Moisture Repair Shampoo. This is an amazing moisturizing shampoo and I think it's great to have a good shampoo before you style your hair. Second thing, the Moisture Repair Deep Conditioner. Love a good deep conditioner. This is amazing for helping repair your hair and keeping it strong and healthy. We need that. Third thing, the Jelly Type Stronghold Gel. Okay, because I really loved this as a styler. And even if you don't use it as a styler, it could be great for your slick backs. These are my three. These are my three. These are the three I would pick if I couldn't choose anything else. Overall, I really enjoy Fenty hair products. I think that Rihanna did such a good job with her research for all hair types. She did such a great job, including everything that we need for a good hair care routine, except for a clarifying shampoo. But she included everything we need for a good hair care routine, starting with the base, the shampoos and conditioners, and then continuing with the stylers. I love that in this first launch, she included stylers because, babe, I need stylers, okay? I need stylers. I love that she gave us multiple options for stylers. I truly have enjoyed this line. Overall, let me see what I'm gonna rate this brand. <laughs> Overall, I would rate this brand an 8.5 out of 10. And the only reasons are because I want a clarifying shampoo. And I would like to see another styler like a mousse because mousse is like my favorite styler. But other than that, the products perform very well. Week after week, I have noticed such improvement in the moisture level of my hair. I feel like I need it less because every week my hair is getting that repair step that it needs. My hair is really dry. And it needs that. I feel like week after week, my hair has improved. And that is like so amazing. It's not just about marketing that is for repair. It's actually being able to see the results. Over three weeks, my hair has consistently improved. And I have loved that for me. So Riri, bad gal, Rihanna. Okay, you have done your big one on Fenty Hair. I love it so much. I cannot wait to use it again. I am so glad that I had the opportunity to try this brand for three weeks. It has been an amazing three weeks and I am in love. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed the whole series, okay? Because I have enjoyed being able to do a whole series for one brand and I plan to do that for more brands going forward. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful in helping you determine what products to get for Fenty Hair. And y'all, as always, click that subscribe button. So you can stay tuned for all the Madam J tutorials, reviews, all the things. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have the most beautiful and blessed day. And I'll see you on the next one.